Hello students of high school, how are you today, 31st of May 2020? Um, yeah, let's complete our story, but today we have to review rule number three, part two, and rule number four. Yes, some students asked me uh, some questions, so let's review rule number three, and part two, and rule number four. Uh, I know many of you are still waiting for the schedules and we are still, don't worry, I'll contact you soon about the new schedules, but let's go for rule number three, part two, it was, yes, issued on 26th of May 2020. Here I was talking about, and uh, I'm talking to Lena and to all, Lena in specific because she did not get it well. Here I was talking about balancing the rhyme of the words. I said there are two styles of words that rhyme. Equal rhyming and balanced rhyming. That's what I was talking about. Let's first remember the piece of poem here. It was, I hate it when the phone... Yes, it was that poem, so let's go in deep, please. I hate it when the phone stops recording suddenly. It is the storage most properly. I have no problem to free some space, but actually I always realize when it is the phase for the video to be released. That was the first part. I speak here about the balance of the rhyme, how it is. Look, I hate it when the phone stops recording suddenly. Yeah, it is the storage most probably. So suddenly and probably equal rhyming. Both of them end the same ending. Suddenly, probably. So equal, no problem. It is the storage most probably. I have no problem to free some space, but Actually, I always realize when it is the phase for the video to be released. Here, where are the rhymed words? Where are the rhyme? Space and phase. This end, F, space, S-P-A-C-E, and phase, space, phase, P-H-A-S-E. So, they are not equal. All right, ending, but they rhyme. How? By balance. They balance it. The sound is balanced, so they fit. But they are not like suddenly and probably. Suddenly and probably, both of them in the same, L-Y, L-Y. But here it's space and phase. And the pronunciation, but because that's s, z, it fit. So here, what kind of, yes, what kind of rhyming we have? Equal rhyming and balanced rhyming. It is balanced, but it is not equal in space and phase, but it fit. Let's complete. And this is the point when I'm not at ease. You know, I'm brilliant with technology. Kidding. Kidding. For me, it's harder than biology. What do you think? Technology and biology. Equal rhyming or balanced rhyming? It is equal. Technology, O-L-O-G-Y, biology, O-L-O-G-Y at the end. Recapturing videos again is insane. But no problem for me to keep doing it. If at the end those students there leave their couches and share. So, yes, what do you think here? What do we have? Very good. To leave their couches and share. Share rhymes with if at the end those students there, there and share. There and share equal rhyming at the end there. R-E, share, even the open one. There and share. I'm proving to the world that you are really greater, even if you aren't going to see me later. So, greater and later. Equal rhyming or balanced 
rhyming equal. Equal because both of them end or have the same sound at the end. Not like space and phase. Space and phase, that space, phase, the sound at the end is different, but it fits. So it is called in my way, very good, very good balanced rhyming. That was to review rule three, part two. Let's talk about, yes, rule number four, part one. Uh, it was issued on the 27th of May, 2020. No one had taken care of criticism. This word, this was the sheet that I had captured then. And the most important word was criticism. I do remember that it was uh, number one or number two. No one ever was born with a shoe. Uh, here, all of it, yes, all of the piece, as I remember, I'm just uh, trying to remember a part of it. Number one or number two. Oh no, we were born without even a shoe. Don't tell me you're better to do as I can too. The difference is great. I've just opened the gate like that. That's what it's beginning, uh, as I remember. Okay, criticism is a great word and it's a style. I said, uh, I do remember that in that time I said, I use it to say my opinion. I use it to say what I like and what I don't like. But how? For me, criticism should be respectful and should be, you know, yes, constructive. And it should include an opinion, a very important thing is called how. Uh, 